for other global news, Russian President Vladimir Putin arrived in Saudi Arabia on Wednesday after visiting the United Arab Emirates. Well, this is Putin's visit in the Gulf area. Moscow is seeking to reassert itself on the global stage and bolster its influence in West Asia. It is only the third trip Putin has taken outside the former Soviet Union since Russia invaded Ukraine following visits to Iran and China. Well, Putin was seen greeting Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman before the two briefly sat down for televised talks. He said, and I'm quoting him here, it is very important for all of us to exchange information and assessments with you on what is happening in the region. Take a listen. We внесли коррективы в эти планы. Но, как я уже сказал, ничего не может помешать развитию наших дружеских отношений. Принц Мухаммад said bilateral cooperation had helped remove many tensions in West Asia and contributed to enhancing security as well. Айбар Тасиху, العمل السياسي بالبلدين ساعد ب well, the Kremlin said ahead of the meeting that the two would discuss oil markets as well as ways to promote de-escalation in the war in Gaza. Well, since March, Putin has, has been wanted for war crimes by the International Criminal Court over the invasion of Ukraine. Well, he skipped the BRICS summit in August in South Africa, which recognizes the ICC in a bid to avoid causing a political show and miss the G20 summit in India in September as well. But neither the UAE nor Saudi Arabia have signed the ICC's founding treaty, meaning that they are not obliged to arrest him. The Russian leader was earlier welcomed with a full cavalry escort and motorcade in the UAE, where he met President Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan. A national air show team drew a Russian flag with colored fumes in the sky, full pomp and show. The Russian president said UAE was Russia's main trading partner in the Arab world. Bilateral trade hit a record $9 billion last year, according to the Kremlin. And Putin said a number of projects were underway in the oil and gas sector as well. Well, Putin is all set to host the Iranian president, Ibrahim Rahisi, for talks in Moscow. Well, Moscow and Tehran are strengthening economic and military ties in the face of Western sanctions with Moscow largely adapted to sanctions thanks to the rebounding oil revenues and its military fending off a Ukrainian counter-offensive. Experts say that Putin may be sensing reviving the fortunes.